Good morning. Beautiful Hudson River. I'm finally able to tri tri get make the trek down through the icy snow, which is now melting to the river. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the biggest secret, and this is a huge realization for myself. I'm gonna share it with you right away because it's friggin' mind-blowing to me. The entire weight loss industry, every diet out there, every single one, even the healthy ones, they are all based on your not accepting yourself for who you are. This is powerful stuff, man. Once, so everything we do when we're on a diet, and we're trying to lose weight is about not being able to accept ourselves for who we are in that moment. I am too fat, my belly is too big, it's too jiggly, my arm, my triceps are too jiggly or loose. Uh, I don't like the way my clothes fit me. You know, those are all our whys, right? Like our, our deep whys, and we get motivated by these whys. Like I wanna look different, I wanna feel different, I wanna be a different person, I wanna be somebody else from who I am right now. Those are all coming from a place of, of not accepting yourself for who you are. Okay, so now you might be thinking, well, yeah, I mean, I want to lose weight. I want to be healthier. Like it makes sense. It's not like, it's not like I'm, I'm, uh, you know, trying to change myself in some negative way. Like it's a positive change. Yes, of course it is. Of course, I'm still uh, an advocate for um, getting to the weight and the body feel that you desire. I'm all for that. However, the path there, in order for it to be sustainable, it has to be paved. Well, let's let's. Take that back a moment. In order for it to be sustainable and happy and for you to feel happy and actually feel pleasure in the process, like actual pleasure in the process, it has to come from number one, first, step number one, accepting yourself for who you are. And that's a practice. It's not a one, one and done kind of thing. It's a daily practice. Oh, I said that thing that I shouldn't have said okay, well, I'll do it differently next time and I'm going to still accept myself for who I am. That's who I am right now. I ate too much cake last night. Okay, yeah, I mean, this is a learning experience and I'm going to accept myself for who I am right now. That was me, I did that and that's okay. That's really, really okay. Like, I'm gonna be here to tell you that everything you do that's bad is okay. You have to get, no, sorry. You don't have to do anything, but I highly recommend that you can get to a place where you look at your transgressions and your mistakes as just fully accepting them and being okay with them. This is like the most freeing thing in the world. If you can just, everything you do, just be like, okay, that's part of who I am. I'm accepting myself and I'm still lovable. I'm still worth it. The path to healthy, sustainable, happy, pleasurable weight loss is paved with that practice. Every day, every day, multiple times in the day, we all make mistakes. I make mistakes. It's, it's, it's a part of being alive. Like we can't expect for that not to happen. And so not only do we wanna learn from that, which is what I've talked about a lot, but also accepting it, accepting ourselves for who we are and still, still, still loving ourselves. It's like, you know, when your baby, if you had children or if you have been around children, you know, they're messy, they're sloppy, they got snot coming out of their nose, they, they poop on the floor, you know, but we still love them, right? Let's give that same love to ourselves, unconditional love, acceptance, self-acceptance and self-love. And that is the magic. There's nothing else. There are no other secrets. That is the foundation. And when you do that, you take action from a place of strength and power not from fear, right? Because all of that stuff of I'm not good enough, I'm too fat, my belly's jiggly, I don't like the way it looks, I'm setting a bad example for my kids, whatever it is, all that negative talk, that's all coming from fear. Fear of not being loved in many cases, fear of not being worthy, fear of being hurt. You know, I mean, lots of reasons for our fears, right? So um, again, like the foundation of your action should be coming from self-love and self-acceptance and that is sustainable and if it comes from fear then it's unsustainable so you'll be taking desperate actions and it will be unsustainable you will not be able to continue on because uh, 
when it comes down to it, I mean, we care what people think, but we don't care that much at 11 p.m. when no one's watching. No one's going to know that I ate these five brownies. But when it comes from love, it's like, oh, oh, yeah, I want to love my body. I want to take care of this amazing body that I have and give it love. And so then it's a different thought process. And even if you do eat the brownies, the next day you wake up and you go, that's me. That's who I am right now. And I still love myself. I'm still worth the, the weight loss. I'm still worth the effort. That's a beautiful, beautiful way to go about the process. So I highly recommend you checking it out and just thinking about this a little bit. So have a wonderful Saturday looking at the Hudson River in all of its glory. And always remember to appreciate the fact that you've watched this. Appreciate all that you do for yourself. Appreciate all that you do for yourself. That is self-appreciation and that comes out of love, self-love. So I love you all and I hope you have a beautiful weekend.